Hey, what's up, guys? It's Killing Time to back another video. And today, uh, I have myself one of my bug out bags, or one of the main ones I have. And I'm going to go ahead and show it off and show some of the components I have inside of it. And this one is one I've made a couple years ago and just kept adding and adding and adding more stuff to it further on over the years. So I thought, why not go ahead and make a video of it, since not only do I do rations, but also I do survival equipment and gear. Like last video I did, one of the survival tins. So I thought, why not go ahead and show off my bug out bag that I've had over the years. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So of course what we have on top of here is the top which is held by paracord just keep it all intact since I did open it up um, now this I think is about 12 by 18 or something like that around there but it's pretty big this is a top that I bought a while back and I didn't know how big to actually get one for a shelter and when I tried this out in the backyard, it was a little bit too big, actually. So, this would probably be something I would use for either camping or whatnot. So, this would pretty much be my shelter. Um, now, this isn't like those bug out bags you find online, now like on Amazon or eBay or other websites that are bag bags, like backpacks. So, this one is just a duffel bag I have not upgraded it to an actual backpack so due to the fact that it is a duffel bag it's much more heavier than that and complex so we have two pockets in the front a pocket on the side and a pocket on this side and then the big whole entire thing out here so let's go ahead and see what's in the left pocket so in the left pocket I have two rain ponchos, one that's from Ozark, and that one is, would be Walmart's brand, pretty much, and then I have a TD Bank rain poncho, so, yeah, two rain ponchos, just for, just in case either if this one rips or this one rips, I have another one back up. And then in here... I just have a couple bags, whether it's for garbage or it's for whatever the use. So I got some bags for that. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in there. And we'll go ahead and see what we got on the side. Now before I go ahead, um, I also have some hand sanitizer, you never know when you'll need it. It's better to be safe than be sorry. So, on this side, we have a big strap that would be for around your shoulder. So, and this side is, I think, the first aid and toiletries. So, one of the first things we'll have, um, I just have some gloves that I added in that has an eight pack, so four pairs of gloves. We have some standard blue masks. I have a pack, two pack of emergency light sticks, so that would be gr bright green. Those come with lanyards. It lasts up to eight hours long. And then I have a couple more masks. These are KN95 masks, so, or dust masks. 
And then we have the main compartment, which is a bunch of stuff. Um, I have some hand warmers, I have some wet naps, I have some body lotion just in case for cracking and all that. I have some surgical tape. I have some toilet paper and napkins in there. I got a sewing kit. I got a whistle in there. Some sunscreen. Some um, moist silhouette compressed towels. And I have some lip balm and a little of, uh, first aid kit in here. And I'll go ahead and open that up and see what we got in there. So in here we have a little clip if you want to put it on either on here or you want to put it on your backpack. So we just have some standard band-aids with some triple anti Bodic ointment, we have some band-aids in here, we have some alcohol pads, and I think there's some pills in there, I haven't checked. And then also in here I have the Minotaur Trading Company folding camp stove in there. And then I have a hundred uh, five inch cable ties. Alright, we're back guys. So I just went ahead and put everything back in the pack. And in this one we have, I think it would probably be the fire and a couple of the accessories. So we have some paracord. I have used it. So I was doing a little bit of camping in the back. We have some paracord. We have a multi-tool. Just for standard. Um, this one is from King Max. If you guys can see it. But it has a whistle. And it opens up. And some pliers. And then right here we have a screw bit. And then we have a knife here. We have a nail file. And then we have a couple other things. There's some scissors in here and some other great stuff. And then in here I have some more screw bits in there to attach and use it to whatever need I need to. I have some fire sticks to make fire. So this is just some waterproof fire sticks from Colleen's. And then I did add my personal survival kit in here because I have some neat stuff that I can add for extra in there and then I have some gloves and it has some protection for my knuckles these feel really nice especially when I tighten them a little bit and I have some little holes for the breathe so I don't sweat them then I have some military grade fire starter and I use a little bit of this too but I take that up with duct tape and we're good with that with some trash bags whether that could be used for storage or whatever else maybe even water storage um, I have some also more garbage bags I have another thing hand sanitizer 
I have some fire tinder from their tar trading company. And then one of the other things I should have added to my toiletries, but I got some baby powder. Alright, now I want to go ahead and put everything back in this one. Now we'll go ahead and open up the big part of this. Now, before I do open up uh, some of the components in here and some of the stuff I added may seem a little bit either funky or funny in a way, but as much as me being a person that likes to be on a budget at some point, but also not spending a fortune for a lot of items, but, um, you know, you have to be creative when you're making bug out bags, especially when you're a person like me, wants to stay on a budget, does not want to spend, you know, a lot, a lot of money for different things, so, one of the things on the top I have... <laughs> I have what looks to be like a pool floaty, which would pretty much be something like to either raise me off on the ground and something like that. I know it seems funny to have one of these as almost like a mat for shelter, but kind of one of the cheapest things I could think of. I mean, it probably will pop, but you know, it's something just to keep me off the ground. So it does some sort of play. And then we have one of the big main first aid things. This is the my main first aid kit I have that I bought on Amazon a while back. And I have added things to it. I have added a hand towel and a bandana. I also added some dental floss in here, you have your cotton swabs, you have your gloves, your emergency blanket, some scissors, some mole pads, um, some gauze, um, a little bandage for if you sprain an ankle or something, um, you have your ointments, I put a mask in here, and a bunch of other little knick-knacky stuff. So that's your first aid kit. Now with the food I've added in here, um, I added the Z ration. This one is a menu three. And there are the components inside. If you're curious, you can pause the video and look at them. But I want to add this in because not only food, but since this will technically be a 72 hour bug out bag or if I need to prolong it to a week or something like that, if I'm stuck out, then I can. And if I need to, I can prolong that for two days, maybe. A bunch with other food in here that can last me. So I have some cookware. This one is just a small pot and a bigger pot. And then I have my aluminum mess kit, which is just a pan, a little thin bowl, a pot. But, um, that mess kit did have a cup, but I've lost that one, so it is what it is. Um, I do have my little accessory kit, which has some coffee, some Nesquik chocolate, which I do have to end up changing this. And you want to make sure that if you have things like coffee or Nesquik or chocolate powder, you want to make sure that you're frequently changing out so you're not ending up when you do have to use this just in case for any reason. You don't end up having expired chocolate powder that's over four years old and next thing you know you're feeling sick for the next three days, four days straight and you end up having the craps. And then we have some salt, sugar, pepper, whatever have you to make your food taste better. 
And then for breakfast for a day's worth, um, I have some biscuits and gravy from Mountain House. I have not tried this at all, so that's going to be definitely something good for whenever I have to use this. And I have a Mountain House beef stroganoff noodles. That could be either a lunch or dinner, so that's good. Uh, these are two servings, the same as the biscuits and gravy. Um, it does have a lesser calorie count, but you will get your protein in here and stuff. And I have some survival tabs. Never know when you'll need those, especially if you're out. I have some freeze-dried banana slices. You're going to want to get some of your fruits and vegetables in that, and some of these don't lack that, so the only one that does have your fruits is your uh, Z-Ration MRE, so that has some fruit and nut mixes, that's where that's going to go from, so I got some freeze-dried banana slices, because you're going to lack on that. I also got a Mountain House ice cream sandwich vanilla. I have a folding saw, pretty self-explanatory, it's pretty good. And then I have my scythe, my machete. And then I have a hatchet, I might have to get a better one, but... This is one that came with an Ozark um, kit, which also reminds me um, that also came with this knife, which you've seen in most of my videos that I'm using. I have sharpened it a bit, so it makes it really, really good. It's a really good knife. I do recommend if you do want to have a somewhat cheap, but also really good knife. But this is a good knife I like to use. It also has some paracord on there on the side. And a really good sheath. Another little knife. Have some kind of light source, which is some glow sticks. Some more paracord and some more paracord, and then here I have uh, a fire striker. I have some carabiners, um, and I have this in a waterproof case along with some napkins, whether it's for a fire tinder or just to keep it watertight more. And then we have our water filtration kit. Comes with a straw, comes with the actual filtration, and this also comes with a little pouch to drink water. And this is a 16 ounce, so it's good for if you want to attach this to here, then you can, and you can drink it straight out of there. Got myself a little flashlight, and then in here, which is my fire stuff, I have some twine, I have some snare wire, I have some foil, I have some fuel tablets for cooking, I have some matches, I have a hand saw in here, and this is all in a Ziploc bag. And like most people will think that it's bad to have um, Ziploc bags, but it does a better job, especially when you want to keep things watertight and waterproof to some extent. Since, especially since everything in here is not going to be able to be waterproofing, since it's all zippers. But, um, of course, I have some honey. Honey is probably the only thing that does not expire ever. So, I definitely want to use that, especially if I'm having 
tea or if I want to use it for healing or whatnot. So. And then we have another flashlight, which is a hand crank flashlight. And then one of the last things I have is a folding shovel. And that's pretty much it in the kit. I have a couple other things, but those are just little stuff like I have another pair of uh, gloves in there. But overall, this is the whole kit. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in here and we'll finish this off this video. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. Um, be sure to let me know in the comments below what you think about this kit. And if there's anything I should either add or I should either remove. But this is kind of the first time I've ever shown off of my bug out bag. And this is probably about four to five years just in general either adding and removing stuff so I kind of want your opinions down below in the comments and letting me know of whether I should add some stuff or I should remove some stuff or I should try different things in the kit or whatnot I mean I definitely know the bag is going to be changed so that's one thing that's on my list but overall that's all for today's video uh, if you enjoyed the video guys be sure to smash that like button Subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. Um, also, uh, just for a notice, um, tomorrow there will be a new video coming out tomorrow. And that will be between uh, 9 to about 11 in the morning or so, maybe earlier. Um, don't want to miss out that video. Uh, I won't say too much information but I can say that it is going to be three parts of a video so that's all today guys for this um yeah I'll see you guys next time have a good day guys